right, another great episode of Shock. And here they come. And out first. Botched an opportunity to win back the women's tag team titles at the, is the Royal Court pay-per-view last match. weekend. On the way to the ring. But they are Attention right back match. in action. It is Malice, Nikita Nightmare, and Zinda making their way to the ring. This is going to be a tornado tag match, I believe. If I think correct. Say, there's certainly no <laughs> we'll find out, I suppose, shortly. But yes, it's going to be a. Is it, or am I wrong? Hang on, wait a second. Which is fine by me. I just want to see them fight. Hang on, I got to check my own notes here. I don't know. I think this is a tornado tag match. We'll we'll see. I was a little frustrated before the stream. Everybody, I'm gonna have to forgive me a little bit. Here Their opponents trouble. tonight. The OGs, it is the Gate Crashers, Rachel Warren and Jesse Scott. These two have had some epic, epic, epic battles over the years. Two great tag team championship teams in the ring right now. And we are going to have to see who is victorious tonight. Let me start the prediction. You can let me know who you think is going to win. Again, if this is your first time joining us, 5,000 channel points or a sub to the channel is all you need to get your very own Superstars wrestler in the here in the RLWF. And it is indeed a tornado tag match. Everyone starting in on each other already. Zinda sent coast to coast there, and Jesse Scott takes care of Nikita Nightmare on the way over. Carefully placed stomp to the arm. And the gate crashers opening with some early offense here. She had it scouted. She saw that one coming. And finds a counter. And Jesse Scott out at the apron, and then Zinda hit immediately with the flying clothesline. Compliments of the albino kiwi. Face first with a waistlock takedown. She's into the ring again. Jesse Scott back in. And Rachel Warren, a nice drop on Nikita Nightmare, and boom, kick to the face by Jesse Scott with those big combat boots. Rachel and Nikita have taken the fight outside. Meanwhile, Zinda making a nice comeback here against Scott. Jesse Scott tossed Tying into the corner. The here, looking for the death lock. There it is. Yeah, Rachel scary. Warren has a scorpion death lock Same on Nikita right. Nightmare. And here's another submission by Jesse Scott inside the ring. Nikita Nightmare is not going to be helping her, but thankfully for Zinda, she doesn't need the help. And uh, boom! Hits her right in the logo. Nikita Nightmare tossed back inside. Rachel's following her. The gate crasher still very much in control here. She manages to get control. But here we go once again at the same time. Both members of Malice reversing their fortunes against the gate crashers. Zinda hitting Jesse with a series of clotheslines. Nikita and Rachel back to the outside. Zinda with the pin. Only got the one count. Nikita taking a little walk. Rachel chased her and has her up against the barricade now. Jesse Scott with a uh, ineffective drop kick there. And Zinda has her up and over for the power slam. And now Zinda going middle rope. Changed her mind. Instead, going for the spine buster. This one might be over already. 
Jesse Scott just manages to kick out after two. And she's got her up again. It can't be a second spine buster. That's got to be it. That has got to be it. Nikita Nightmare has Rachel neutralized in the corner. And just like that. Wow. That is like the dominant matches of old for Malice. Taking care of business against the Gatecrashers in no time flat. Again, the Gatecrashers were doing very, very well for themselves earlier in the match, but listen, this is why these, this is why, look, despite the loss at the pay-per-view, an incredibly dangerous team in the ring right there would not be surprised to see another title shot in their future. But uh, listen, once you lose at the pay-per-view, you got to work your way back up from the bottom. That's just what they're doing. All right, over to singles competition, Gentlemen, but staying in the women's division and out fight. first. Victoria Long from Pink Perfection. From Greenwich, Connecticut, Victoria Long. A rare singles appearance, Victoria Long. Dancing her way down to the ring. Again, normally in a tag team competition with Pink Perfection, but listen, Victoria Long, you can see she is a woman of stature and strength. And definitely a threatened singles competition so as well. Talented competitor. I think we're about to see one of her best matches yet. She definitely looks focused. She definitely looks intense. She's long, exactly. Literally and and figuratively, Jeremiah, you're correct. All right. And her opponent. DB, welcome in, welcome in, sir. And Bunny as well, welcome in, everyone. And from London, England. And her opponent, Bobby. Bobby actually uh, did not make the pay per view. Shocking. Shocking. Yes, DB. Horse Grind is our current all-star champion. And Bobby lets the pyro fly. Should be a great match. A uh, tough draw for Victoria. Again, in a rare singles appearance. This might, in fact, be her first actual just one-on-one -on -one singles match. Which is shocking, but uh, true. With this match underway, it's worth noting that. All right, let me start the prediction. You can let me know who you think is going to win: Victoria Long or Bobby Victoria Long. Starting out strong with the sit-out power bomb, going for the pin right away. She's really looking for the early victory, but she didn't. Seems unlikely. Uh oh. Missed on the uh, handstand knee drop. Oof! Bobby didn't miss on that jump to the midsection, though. Missed on a second handstand knee drop. Might be time to retire that one for a little bit. Just turn that around. But Victoria Long comes up swinging, but here's the reversal from Bobby. They lock up. Long sent into the corner, and oh, knife edge chops from Bobby. Head first into that turnbuckle, and a few more knife edge chops before stomping away. Thanks, referee, for standing directly in front of the camera. There you go. These referees, man. She heads out of the ring. Interesting strategy. Action on the outside. Not a false count anywhere match here. Oh, a right hand for good measure. Tremendous athleticism. Finally lands the handstand elbow drop. Sorry, not a knee drop. My apologies. Decide to hit it one more time. Now that it's firing. Maybe a third. Oh, three in a row. Three in a row. Prop kick by Bobby, though. And they lock up. They're at a six count, so Bobby decides to head back into the ring. Victoria Long taking her time. 
Got to do a little less mouthing off, a little more getting into the she ring. Was a millisecond away from a count out, guys. Couple of shots to the midsection there from Victoria Long. And now, what a combo. Stomping away. Another counter by Bobby. I, listen, I know I'm supposed to be unbiased, but I'm kind of hoping to see a twisted Bob in this match. I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to lie. It's iconic, and I'm hoping I see it. But uh, Victoria Long toying with her prey right now. And oh, thought she was going for the back body drop, but a nice arm drag reversal. Hooks the leg. And only got the two counts. Friday tomorrow, Poke, but uh, listen, it's going to be a good show, but uh, I'm not going to be there. Norm suffering a head injury in that other league. Victoria taking some more knife edge chops. Turns her around. What are we doing now? Smashes her face first into the turnbuckle. Stomping away Victoria Long in a heap of trouble right now. Nice hip drop from Bobby. Victoria comes right back off the mat with surprising speed. Let's just put it that way. I'll never stop headbutting, Pope. Never, never. The headbutt is the greatest move in all of wrestling. Prove me wrong. And Bobby showing off the athleticism here. Sharp kick to the back. And one more for good, uh, for good luck. Reverses her into a shoulder tackle and... Uh, Making her way to the corner. Oh, I might get my wish. If she hits a twisted bob, she does. And that could be it for Victoria Long. Leg is hooked. Ref is down. Oh, they got the two kills. Bobby can't believe it. And Long sends her into the corner. Smashes her face first into that turnbuckle. And what is she doing now? Getting up on the middle rope. And boom, look at that. Nice snap suplex out of the corner. Hooks the leg, middle of the ring. Only got the two count. This turned out to be a great match. And once again, Victoria Long. Slowing things down. And then choking out her opponent and smashing her head first into the mat. Listen, it's a mixed bag. It's a mixed bag. And the reversal from Bobby. The spinning roundhouse. But Victoria Long right back at her. Uh-oh. Working those glutes into the power slam. That might be it for Bobby. No, once again, Bobby gets the shoulder up. <laughs> exactly invisible, exactly. You should just, we just have, there should just be a, there should be a tag team of just two guys, just all of their moves are headbutts, just nothing but headbutts. I would pay to see that. Let's see. L listen, maybe if the roster expands for 2K24, we might have to just do that. She returns the favor there. Brief sign of adrenaline from her. Styles, uh, you can either, if you want to form a tag team, you can either form a tag team with a community member, or if there is a Rando Lando that you wanted to form a tag team with, uh, just uh, DM me and let me know, and. Uh, we can definitely uh, we can definitely uh, see if that's a possibility for you. And Bobby off the ropes here, and pow! Shining wizard. 
But Victoria Long, to her credit, hanging in there. Reverses her to a big clothesline. And there's the handstand elbow drop again. And just, oh, just absolutely punching the lower back of Bobby. Oh, this has got to be bad news. It's going to be it. Submission hold locked in. Victoria Long using that long frame to her advantage here. Is Bobby going to tap? No, Bobby. Heart of a champion. Powers her way out of it. Sends her face first into the mat. Everyone heads to the outside. <laughs> All measured up. Yeah, the DDT she might do the trick. The might do the trick. But she's got to get her back in the ring first, and that's exactly what Bobby does. To end this match. But the struggle's worth it. With Bobby's going top rope. We might see a twisted Bob again. There it is. Right literally in the middle of the ring. It hooks the leg. I got to think that's got to be it. No Victoria Long again. Poke, you might be right. She might need to land that DDT to finish her off. But listen, credit to Victoria Long. She has made a heck of a match of it. And now the alley oop powerbomb. Victoria Long soaking in the booze from the crowd. And now. Are we going to see the big leg drop for Victoria Long? We are. Into the pin. And just like that, Victoria Long getting a victory over Bobby. Impressive. Impressive work. Really by both competitors. A great, great match. But in the end, a big win. For Victoria Long. Yeah, Bobby, let me tell you, Bobby has Here's not been doing uh, not been doing great. She said she needs uh, she needs a victory to get out of that funk. I'm sure it'll come, but uh, it's taking too long, no doubt, for Bobby. But listen, credit where credit is due. A big, big win for Victoria Long. Right, staying in singles competition, but this time over on the men's division. And we are starting off with the man himself, Mr. Clean. Part of the King of the Ring tournament last weekend. Won his opener, but lost to the eventual winner, Jocko, in the second round. But... Listen, I've ever felt in quite some didn't time. win the King of the this Ring, but do not good. sleep on this guy. Mr. Clean has been an absolute force since joining the RLWF. And I don't know what it is. There's something about his look. There's something about his look that I just seem to relate to. I, 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 you know what I mean? I don't know what it is. I can't quite put my finger on it, but... I think this is a. I think this is a. This is this is a good look. This is a good look right here. This is a guy who always seeks out the highest level of competition. Now. And there you go. That disinfecting pyro, making sure that the ring is free of germs before we throw down. I take off my glasses to show you Jeremiah, but then I could not see anything. <laughs> Because <laughs> I am blind without these bad boys. All right, and his opponent. No longer the Cajun King, but still. The greatest men's champion in RLWF history thus far. Before folks start to give me the business. Thus far. Mason Marceau. The WWE Universe keeps egging him on. 
That is a recipe for disaster. Oh, wait, what is so wrong with the WWE? Universe? Crown is, is removed, but still an incredibly dangerous opponent for anyone. This should be a great match. Successful. Mark my words. Two of the best of the best in the ring. Yeah, listen. I mean, listen. That 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 entrance uh, uh, that entrance uh, outfit is uh, is killer. So. We had to lose the crown. I love the crown. I love the Cajun, the Cajun crown. But listen, he lost. He lost it. He lost it. Jocko's the king now. I would say none of us like it, but there's a couple of people here that like it. <laughs> Max, Cole, Pope. A but who always has his game Mason Marceau. Major okay, I forgot how long this intro is. Let me start the prediction. You can let me know who you think is going to win this match. Again, Mason Marceau, Marceau since losing the belt, has been kind of keeping a bit of a low profile. So we'll have to see. I mean, might this be the guy who starts to kind of step up and maybe challenge THP to try and get that belt back? We'll have to see. Yeah, but meeting him in the ring's quite an obstacle. And as he's obstacle, finding out, he's picked a tough road to the top by going through Mr. Clean, but a nice reversal over the top rope there. Out of the ring, what's his plan here? Ow! And a big forearm to the face. Knew what was coming there. Reversal from Clean, reversal from Mason. Trading blows on the outside here. They've got to be mindful of the count, though. Backbreaker. By clean. Referee giving them a warning, telling them to get back into the ring. They don't seem to be paying too much attention. Ooh, snooplex. Uh, snooplex. Snooplex? Snooplex? And he tosses it Suplex. back in by Mr. Clean. What are you guys thinking? Obviously not about the ref's count, Cole. Swinging, Swinging neck breaker from Clean. Watch the quickness of and this. another suplex. suplex. He's getting a little better now. Measuring. Oh, and Clean. Pounding away on the face of Mason Marceau. Hooks the leg, trying for a sneaky pin here. I can't imagine that's going to be enough, and it is not. Only got the two count. He must have seen that coming. Oh, my Lord! And there's the And now, Mason Marceau returning the favor, and Mr. Clean says no. this far into the match. Where is this That would be a great tag team. Snoop Dogg and Mr. Clean. Maybe for a dark match sometime. I'll have to download a Snoop Dogg. I guarantee you if I go on to the community creations, there is at least five versions of Snoop Dogg. And countouts are legal, so hopefully probably far more. Trip outside. And clean has him up. And boom! Drops it. Huge neck breaker. Uh-oh. Actually, next time we're here when Clean uh, has a, a dark match. I have another version of Clean uh, that he has, uh, that he made, that I, uh, I, I've i downloaded. So we're, we're gonna have Clean on Clean action in a dark match, so. Next time he's here for the dark matches, we'll do that. Mr. Clean into the barricade and back into the barricade. Literally and figuratively. Well, not figuratively, but using both sense of the word. back into the ring. Ref still counting, close to calling it. Hurry back in. And Mason Marceau with the big drop kick. Mr. Clean staggered in the corner. And oh no, it's been a while before we see, since we've seen rather the shotgun drop kick. And Mason Marceau not quite sure where he wants to go, what he wants to do here. What now? Uh, stop Thankfully, right that indecision doesn't seem to have he cost him. He's going top rope. Top 
And here it comes. Boom. Missed. Mr. Clean. Hooked him and reeled him in with that one. Counter by Marceau. But Mr. Clean with another neck breaker. Backbreaker. And a few more shots. The crowd booing loudly, of course. Mason Marceau was an incredibly, an incredibly popular champion. The fans love him. But Mr. Clean is going to magically erase him, I think. Kabam! The pile driver, Mr. Clean gets lucky with the rope break, or rather Mason gets lucky with the rope break. Mr. Clean setting him up again. Mason Marceau has no idea where he is right now. Or does he? Fighting back. Drops the stomp and he's going, I thought he was going top rope, but changed his mind. Just stomp after stomp up to the midsection of Mr. Clean, knocking the wind right out of him. And now here's a combination. Just chopping the legs out from underneath him, and now pow! Wow, what a kick to the side of the head. Mr. Clean reeling, and Mason Marceau top rope. Nailed it. Hits the moonsault. And oh, I thought it was going to be the three. I thought it was going to be the three, but Mr. Clean gets that shoulder up. Again, Mason Marceau just targeting the midsection of Mr. Clean. Just trying to keep the, knock the wind out of it and keep it out of him. Look at that, just, I mean, just stomp after stomp after stomp. Mr. Clean is going to be a few ribs shy after this match is done. And a kick to the back from Mason Marceau, and he is soaking in the energy from the crowd. Locks up into the ring. He might be oblivious to the count, guys. Heading up again if he hits the moonsault again. Oh, Mr. Clean gets out of the way. Luthez Press. And Mr. Clean choking out Mason Marceau now. Things getting a little dangerous. Look at this, just unloading. Oh, it gave you a Starfield ad. I don't know, I'm split on Starfield. I'm burned after, after Fallout 76. I'm gonna wait for a bit on Starfield, I think. We'll see. I might buckle and just buy it anyway. Mason Marceau. Oh! Drops him. Hooks the leg. Is that gonna be an Oh, and now the rope break goes the other way, and it's Mr. Clean saved by it. An incredible match between these two. Nice dodge by Mason. Combination. And again, a kick to the guts. Mr. Clean has got to be running on fumes at this point. Missed on that one. And Mr. Clean with another Thez press. Setting him up. Are we going to see another magic eraser? We might very well, and that's got to be it. If he lands this, boom. That pile driver absolutely devastating. Still can't get the three counts. Unbel Mr. Clean is just losing his mind inside there in frustration. Who could blame him? Hooks the leg. And another rope break. Good eye by the referee. And by Jocko, I'm sure when you say that you're going to acquire Starfield, obviously what you mean is that you're going to legally acquire it. You're going to buy it, support the developers, maybe even get the digital deluxe version, and enjoy it. 
Mr. Clean out of the corner and boom. Rolls him over. Say goodnight. I feel like that's got to be it. It is a hard fought match, but a victory from Mr. Clean. And here's another look at some incredible action from a match that we're not likely to stop talking about. For I mean, a long, long time. what a match. A nail biter from start to finish. Two of the best of the best going at it. Well, the good thing about being King Jocko is that even if you did here's do something winner. illegal, who's going to bust you on it? You're the king. What a win for him here. He really Mr. Clean earns a huge victory against Mason Marceau. And soaking it up from the fans. And look, not a spot of blood on him this match. That's a double win. All right, triple threat first blood elimination match. Out first, there he is, Elijah George. Extreme Rules match. Another participant in the King of the Ring at the Royal Court pay-per-view. And once again, Elijah George came up short. Lost in the second round to Jesus Cruz. But Elijah George, always game. Listen, you got to give the man credit for being dedicated. I feel like sometimes... Uh, <laughs> Sometimes fate is not smiling on Elijah George. He is ready to compete. But he keeps on going, keeps on smiling too. Look at that. Oh, this tattoo cost me, I mean, so much. I, I don't want to do the math because I'll literally cry on stream. I could have bought a used car instead. Let's put it that way. <laughs> yeah. All right, next Participant. Oh my God, Jocko! Jocko is going to be unbearable for this entire a whole year. We have with this a whole year. And his opponents first from the Great Barrier Reef. Sharknado making his way to the ring. The tornado was in the 20-man like Royal caliber, Rumble this is at the pay-per-view. You'll have to see who the final participant is, Poke, to see whether this is a match of people who dislike you. I mean, that list is growing longer and longer, in fairness. I Listen, I recommend tattoos to everybody. Everybody should get a tattoo. A it is a great way to express yourself artistically. Level yet. The experience is something I think that you should go through. You know what I mean? Especially a larger tattoo. All right, Elijah, George, and Sharknado, who is the third member? It is none other. And from Illinois, weighing in at 200. And then William, he styles himself William the hammer. Making his way to the ring. William Styles, master of the PKO. That's how he's known. I'm sure they'll hear you when they William Styles making his way to the ring, a great, great superstar. Nine tattoos invisible. Let's go. Let's go for tattoos. Yeah, my next tattoo is gonna have something to do with the kids, probably. Or Twin Peaks. I love them both equally. <laughs> All right, let me start the prediction. Extreme rules match time. No disqualification. No and you can let me know who you think is going to win again. This is a first blood elimination match. The only way to eliminate your opponent is to make them bleed. And there you go. Slamming someone headfirst into the mat is a good way to do it. Sharknado has the idea. Look at the height difference between Styles and Elijah. The leaping 
Power slam. For them there. Elijah has Shark up now and uh, slams him to the mat. He gets sent down to the floor. Kick to oh, the God. <laughs> oh, <this is laughs> listen, so listen. My kids know. Down we go. If my kids ever watch this, they know that no matter what I say, I, I love them. Listen, second place to Twin Peaks is not oh bad. God, That's this. not, there's no shame in that. Elijah and Styles teaming up briefly to do a double suplex on Sharknado, and then Elijah immediately sends Styles into the corner, and Sharknado up, and he's mad, but Elijah slams him back first and then tosses him, almost hits Styles. Nice kick by Elijah. A series of chops has Styles staggered. Close line now, Elijah turning his attention back to Sharknado. Elijah coming on strong here, but Sharknado with a little reversal of his own throat chop. But boom, Elijah. Oh my God, boom, there you go. Hit him with the wing clipper already. Elijah George starting strong here. Nice back body drop by Styles. Now. He looks like he might be going after Shark. I'm not sure where Shark landed. The there he is. No oh, worries. the siren song of the steel step strikes again. Unable to hit Elijah with them. Even Sharknado cannot resist their allure. Managed to hit Styles with it though. Shark sends Elijah hard into the barricade. Pops over Elijah to take on Styles. Everyone kind of muddled up in the corner now. Oh, Sharknado into the announcer's desk. I was so mad that we got so close. We got so close. To an announce table finisher last uh, last episode under the ropes. after two years of the RLWF I'm dying to see Our that announcer's table get smashed Sharknado with the throat chop but here comes That's Elijah from behind oh drops him Shark tossed into the ring. Elijah with a combination has a style staggered and now he's uh, given a few words to the youngster. A little, uh, uh, a little lesson from the veteran here. Sharknado with the back rake. And now head first. Again, the only way to be eliminated from this match is to make your opponent bleed. Well, you get eliminated if you bleed. You know what I'm talking about. You bleed, you go. That's what I'm trying to say. <laughs> you guys speak Normese. It's fine. Steel steps again. And boom. Connects. I mean, listen, the steel steps to the head is not a bad way to make someone bleed. And neither is a hockey stick. Look at Sharknado. Look at Sharknado, a man after my own heart. As a Canadian, I approve. Oh, and Style steals it from him. Oh, five for instigating. And Shark tosses Elijah back into the ring. Locks up with Styles, and again, Elijah looking under the ring for a little inspiration, and he's got a chair. Classic. I don't think that Shark has seen him, but there's the spinning powerbomb. Elijah hilariously missing with that chair. Showing 
Stiles tossed into the corner, and now Elijah has the hockey stick. Elijah Stiles, as tall as the Danio Chara with that stick. If you don't know who I'm talking about, ask a Canadian. Just letting his opponent know who the real top guy is. And he's able to us. Down to the power bomb. Oh no, Elijah has him up again, and boom! Oh! Vicious power bomb to the concrete. But here comes Styles. Elijah tosses him aside and then uh, has a few words for the crowd about their fan favorite, the hammer. Tossed back in the ring, and Elijah is going under the ring again. He broke that hockey stick. He's got a kendo stick. Shark goes in after Styles. A suplex. And Elijah with another wing flip. A devastating move, but not one that's going to make you bleed normally. And Elijah laying in the big boots. And he'll leave the ring for this next stretch. And Elijah with an awful lot to say to Styles. I think Elijah is taking this a little personally here. Oh, and that's it. Elijah hits him with the elbow. And William Styles is out. And now a third wing flipper to Sharknado. If this were anything but a first blood elimination match, that would be pretty much the end of Shark. But he is almost motionless. Finally getting to his feet. Nice dodge by Shark. And Sharknado has him up. And the spinning powerbomb. The volume in this building has increased. And Shark, this could do it. Oh, it does not, but a devastating maneuver all the same. The spinning tombstone pile driver, and now Shark grabs that kendo stick. No, nope, changes his mind. Sharks are fickle, guys. Sharks are fickle. Taking this to the floor. Oh, he's looking for something else underneath there. He's got a shovel. Doesn't like that either. He picked the shovel because he was looking to send a message. They lock up Elijah. Huge sky, uh, a skyscraper side uh, 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 suplex. When you're seven feet tall, a suplex hurts that much more. And oh, just drops him. Face first, and oh no, here comes the Sharknado punch. That'll split you open, no problem. And boom! Will he be able to capitalize? Sharknado taking control, setting him up again. Elijah has no idea where he is right now, but spoke too soon with the reversal. Elijah George, and boom, DDT. No blood from either competitor yet. Irish whip into the ropes. And curb stomp. That'll do it. That will do it. Your winner, Elijah George. A nice rally by Shark at the end there. But especially after taking three wing clippers. But not enough to draw Here's blood from that man's head, Elijah, Elijah George. That's your winner, folks. Outlasting all other superstars in this match. Oh, yeah, a good effort, again, from Styles. Surviving against all these other superstars but your winner, Elijah George. And now. Listen, Jocko, normally, normally I would agree with you. Normally that's not a problem for Shark. He literally bites people in the head. I mean, it's uh, it's it's uh, it, it should have been a lot. But listen, credit where credit is due. Elijah with the big win. All right, more one-on-one -on -one action. And out first, here he is. Torture the people himself, Jeremiah Cowboy Colt. 
still, still locked out of most of his social uh, social media accounts. Every time they claw back, it gets hacked again. It is unbelievable this has gone on this far, and uh, let me tell you, Jeremiah is not happy about it. He's even resorted to accepting assistance from Evelyn Precious. That's how desperate things have gotten. I think, uh, to be honest, even though this is an IT problem, I feel like this is going to get settled eventually in the ring. I think one of these men are just going to beat the other one into uh, such bad shape that they give up. <laughs> Which, thankfully, for the RLWF audience, a much better solution. A much better solution. And in fact, he is going to be facing Aldo Cruz right now. A competitor who does not know the meaning of the word quit. He is ready for battle. All right, and his opponent from the future. And here we go. Notorious hacker, Aldo Cruz. Making his, wait a second. Wait just a second. Wait just a second. Hold the phone. Hold the phone. Aldo Cruz making his way to the ring accompanied by Evelyn Precious. Evelyn Precious is the one who is supposed to be helping Jeremiah Cowboy Colt. Gain control of his social media accounts back from Aldo Cruz. Unbelievable. I mean, I guess that explains why it's been taking so long to wrest control of those. There's been a snake in the grass, it Always would appear. With a chip on his Again, he like I say, I mean, like desperate times call for desperate measures. But that was my concern about enlisting the help of, of uh, Evelyn Precious from the beginning. And uh, it would appear, it would appear as though Evelyn Precious has been in cahoots with Aldo. And uh, you can guarantee that Cowboy Colt is going to be a little fired up about this one. There are going to be repercussions and probably immediate. So let me start the prediction and you can let me know who you think is going to win this grudge match, baby. And you can sense the anger emanating from the competitor tonight. Eyes like a blazing fire. This is a man. Aldo with the reversal. Right He's a man possessed as well. I mean, again, I mean, uh, Cowboy, listen, Jeremiah might be a little out of sorts here to start this match. I think he's as shocked as the rest of us. And if you're not trying to win, you're not trying. Period. Jeremiah, not a bad idea. That's a, That might exactly be what's in the order. Uh, in order, they're a mixed, ma mixed tag match. We will have to see. Ooh. You can let me know if you've got some ideas as to who you want in your corner for that one. Now, we're going to have to also see... Yeah, listen, you got to keep an eye on Evelyn Precious. Evelyn Precious, the queen of me. And uh, we are going to have to see if she's going to get herself involved or if she's just there just to... Psychologically impact Jeremiah. Jeremiah off the ropes and hits the big knee. So precise. Aldo back on his feet. Counter. And look at that maneuver. Beautifully executed. Moves that haven't been invented yet. Look at this. Nice belly to belly. Aldo repositioning. Jeremiah. Looking for a high and he's going top rope. Top. Aldo Cruz hits the elbow right on the back of the head. Pride and poise Aldo Cruz mocking Jeremiah while he's down. And Jeremiah not happy about it. Locks in that arm bar, but... Aldo rolls out of it immediately. And he's out and delivers a knee. 
Aldo Cruz looking good this match. Drops the elbow. And now, the challenge for him here. snapping the tendons on that left leg of Jeremiah Colt. Big forearm drops him to the mat. And everyone rolls to the outside. Aldo comes out after him. Referee's going to have to keep an eye on Evelyn Precious there, I think. Blocked by Jeremiah. Has him up. And drops him head first. Splits him open. If only this was the previous match, Jeremiah would have won already. Colt tossed into the barricade. Evelyn Precious with a few words for Jeremiah while he's down. Jeremiah, of course, a gentleman would never hit a lady. But Lord knows he's tempted. Lord, he's got to be tempted. Aldo has him up. All the way up. Oh, no. And oh no. Good. Dude Buster into the pin. That might be it already. It is not. Jeremiah manages to get the kick out at two. Aldo going top rope again. Jeremiah gets to his feet and boom. Hits him. Hooks the leg again. Is that going to be enough? It is not. That was game over. Pure guts to kick out there. Listen, that should have ended things. And Aldo, once again to the top rope, hits the big splash. That's got to be it, but he is not going for the pin. He is taking a little time to rub it in. And a little time is all Colt needs. Oof. Big knee strike crowd getting involved now. Drops the knee. And another one again. Aldo already split open. And here's Evelyn Precious. And she and Colt are hot. They are arguing back and forth there. Aldo takes advantage of the distraction, however. Again, Evelyn Precious. An incredible distraction after this, after this, uh, this, this traitorous, traitorous reveal. Climbing up top, he's got big plans. And Aldo from the top rope. He's trying again. Again hits him with the leg drop. And that's it. One, two, three. Aldo Cruz with a little assist from Evelyn Precious. Wins the match against Jeremiah Cowboy Colt, but let me tell you, this is not the end. This is absolutely not the end of this story. Hooks the leg, the referee, one, two, three, and that is it. Aldo Cruz. With the victory, the crowd absolutely booing like crazy for he and for Evelyn Precious. And we are going to have to see how Jeremiah responds to this shocking revelation. All right, another one-on-one -on -one match. Coming out first. The following contest is representing one, the, the is Cure. From New York, weighing in at former All-Star Champion, FTN4. The WWE Universe delivering quite a reaction. Oh, I thought I picked his red out. Oh, well, that's it. <laughs> and Colm, let me tell you, I mean, Colm lost that belt, but, uh, you know, he's... Uh, he, he, listen, I I was a little bit surprised. His initial start to his reign was kind of uh, propped up, I think, a little bit by the Cure members and the interference and stuff. But towards the end there, he had a lot of impressive matches. 
So you got to give credit where credit is due, and Cole deserves some credit here. To deliver on that promise. Despite being part of Cure. And Cole looks ready to go, but who is his opponent? Listen, you want to talk about grudge matches. How about Colm versus the man who took the title from him and then immediately turned around and lost it himself? And his opponent, Kurt Wilde. Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. A little chance for revenge for FDN Colm. But not going to be easily uh, easily won. Kurt Wilde, despite losing to course grind at the pay-per-view, has been excellent as of late. Should be a great match. We'll see if maybe now we, you know with the with the the pressures of winning, defending, losing the title. Just a straight up one-on-one -on -one match. I think this might be a more uh, accurate reflection of their relative skill levels. He calls himself the standard bearer. Should be a win. close match. Let me start the prediction, and you can let me know who you think and is going to win. There you go. Grinding his teeth at the performance center as of late. Yeah, a consistent work ethic is what you're talking Cole, about. with a nice combination to start, has him in a headlock. He never has been, and that dedication is what Putting puts him in position to win the squeeze on that mullet. But you cannot overlook his opponent, as intense as they come. Not exactly the and superstar Cole, you want to a couple of shots to the face. But unfortunately, Ooh, went for a few is. more, but maybe too many. Kurt Wilde with the reversal. Oh, flipping the script on him there. Reversal again from Colm, great technical corner. wrestler. Nowhere FDN to go Colm, look at the uh, look at the uh, Muay Thai knee strikes. The Muay Thai strikes. What disrespectful, my God! And off the ropes for one final oh. foot wash. The hatred and disrespect. Strong. Kicks to the face. Oh. To the big one. And Combe obviously coming in here with something to prove. Against Kurt Wilde. And here we have the greatest move in sports entertainment on display. You love it. You love it. And loved it so much, you might be going for it again. Lower back, clutching the Just a whole match of this, please, Colm. Thank you very much. Just I'll take it. Punishing their opponent here relentlessly. That's going to be Norm's new finisher. This is it. Hooks the leg. Shoulder shoots up before two. Still Only got the one count. Still lots of work to do. Down. Firm control. Boot to the face. Being the aggressor here. It's obvious to see Pounding away. Oh, a nasty stop. Colm has been dominating this match so far. The cure must be happy. But here, Able reversal from Kurt Wilde. He is going to have to try and get something going quickly. Crushing the knee there. Big four. They lock up. Kurt Wilde reverses it into a chop. And oh, they both ran at each other and both missed. Setting it up. But Colm didn't miss on that lariat. That knee knocking the wind out of him. Awesome. I'll check that out after the stream, Jeremiah. Thank you. And look at that. Locked in the sleeper hole, but Cole managed to grab the ropes. Good eye by the referee for spotting it. But now, oh no, are we going to see the diving falcon arrow? It won't go on much longer if this lands. Boom! Right in the center of the ring. And now, oh, missed on the thrust kick. Beautiful dodge by Cole. Saved the match. 
just carrying the opposition anywhere they Kurt Wilde, though, still in control, tosses him to the center of the ring. And missed on that second senton. Cole back to his feet. Oh! They lock up and oh. kick to the face of Kurt Wilde. Compliments of Cole. And another. Why not? Cole was thinking briefly about going to that top rope. Would love to get that FTN. Oh! Pele kick. Repositioning here and going for a quick pin. Is that going to do it? Oof, it almost did. Two and a half. Referee just run. Get out of the way, ref. Kurt Wilde knocks him into the ropes. Irish whip missed on the knee. Didn't miss on that suplex, though. Oh, stomping the face. And now Kurt Wilde going top rope. Waiting for Colm to get to his feet. And boom. Flying cross body. Setting him up. Oh, and there's that thrust kick to the face. Hooks the leg. That could be all she wrote. It is not Colm. Cole with the kick out. And boom, big boot to the face. This has become a and now just pounding away. Cole is fired up, you can tell. And now, going to the top rope, are we going to see the FTN? Boom. We do indeed stomp to the midsection from the top row, hooks the leg. That could be all she wrote. It is not. Kick out at two. Cole now. A series of strikes. Oh! I think he split him open on that last knee. And Cole, is he going to go top rope again? Are we going to see a second FTN? If we do, and it lands, it's curtains. Boom! That's it. That's it. Say goodnight. There's your three count. Your winner, FTN Colm. A little revenge. A little revenge for losing his belt. Kurt Wilde making his way back to the dresser. Oh, no. Colm is not quite done with him. Hits him from behind. More fun. This is classless. Head first into the apron. Colm not satisfied with the victory. Adding insult to injury. Slams him into the steel steps. And there you go. Listen. It's the cure, baby. It's the cure. That's how these things work. But listen, uh, as much as we can, uh, uh, you know, decry him for uh, the uh, uh, the poor sportsmanship at the end there. Uh, a big win, a big win. All right, tag team action. A TLC tag team. Two on two and the first team to grab that case from on top of the ring is your winner and out first Slaughterhouse. Carter Ford and Hannibal Armstrong make their way to the ring. Again, as a tag team, they've had a bit of a mixed record. I, I kind of expected them to come in and dominate, but thus is the level of competition we have in the men's tag team division. I mean, the crossbows as champions seem undefeatable at this point. And Slaughterhouse's opponents tonight. It is old school. Been a little while since we've seen old school in action. 
Listen, we have the to take WWE a little care of our veterans. The uh, sometimes you need a little extra time in between matches, you know what I mean? To kind of uh, work out over. the kinks. All right. I've never stepped foot in a wrestling ring, and, uh, you know, my bones need a little extra rest now and then, too. And I do literally nothing all day but sit in this chair. So, you can only imagine what Fisher Bailey and Peter Allen go through, but sacrifices they make for their passion, and their passion is professional wrestling. Again, a TLC match. Up the ladder, grab that case, and you have won. Let me start the prediction. You can let me know who you think is going to win. Peter Allen drops Carter Ford immediately. And he is getting double teamed by old school Hannibal Armstrong. Finally back in the ring to help out his partner. But hip toss on Peter Allen and just stands right on his chest. Fisher Bailey's already got a ladder in the ring. Well, Forward thinking. Guide, we're not exactly in bubble wrap over here. Uh, Hannibal Armstrong just kind of taking a little wander there at ringside. Not sure match, where he guys. was going, but Peter Allen, so I know where he's going. Right up for the case. Hannibal and Carter in the ring. And didn't work out so well for Peter Allen. Fisher Bailey trying to fight his way out of the corner there against both members of Slaughterhouse. Hannibal just putting the squeeze on Fisher Bailey. And now just tossing Peter Allen aside. I honestly can't believe we just saw a human being tossed. This is a good strategy. Hannibal uh, tosses old school literally all around the ring. Nice reversal from Peter Allen, but Fisher Bailey out of nowhere. Sneaks up to try and grab that case, but oh, dropped immediately by Carter. No respect being shown whatsoever with those stops. Slaughterhouse seemed to be largely in control so far, but not much progress made on that case at all yet. It's anyone's game to win or lose. Great job refocusing to reverse that. And tosses Fisher Bailey to the mat. Both oh, members man, of Slaughterhouse head out of the ring. Hannibal back in now. Punching their way out of that one. Fighting off both members of old school, getting double teamed here. Sent face first into the ladder. And Carter Ford grabs another ladder, puts it up between the apron and the announce table. But he's got to get in that ring. His partner is getting the tar beat out of him by old school. Oh, to the back of the neck. Good timing with that reversal. Fisher Bailey. He's outside the ring now. Suplex oh, to Carter to Ford. Peter Allen's keeping a close eye on Hannibal. To the outside. This could get wild. He tried to grab the table, but Hannibal got to That's him first. Carter Ford all alone in the ring with a ladder. That could be bad news for old school. He's up the ladder already. I don't think either member of Old School has spotted him yet. And Hannibal Armstrong is kicking their butts right now. Free reign for Carter Ford. This might be a quick match, everyone. Carter Ford struggling with that case. Finally, Peter Allen back in. And Fisher Bailey. And they take the ladder out from underneath him. But Carter Ford almost had a free pass to a win there. Outside the ring now. He has no need and to Fisher Bailey working on that arm. Arm. Carter Ford on the inside. Irish whip goes he nowhere. Hannibal elbow. squaring off against Peter Allen on the outside. Fisher has locked in a submission hole, but of course not the way you win this match. Carter Ford. With a nice kick off the ropes, and he looks like he's going to grab that ladder again, perhaps. Changes his mind when he saw that Peter Allen was also making his way back into the ring. Fisher Bailey tossed out onto the ladder. And he'll leave the ring for this next stretch. This one is headed outside, guys. Hannibal comes over to try and take care of Peter Allen, but now he's lined up double-teamed by 
looks old school. And once again, Carter Ford left in the middle of the ring all by his lonesome. Fisher Bailey at least spotted him this time. But is he going to have time? Carter Ford, so close. Moments away from getting that case loose, but not quite enough. He has no need to rush. Hannibal doing a good job of keeping old school occupied at ringside. Carter Ford coming out to join him now, though. Ford dropped face first off the barricade. And now, Peter Allen alone in the ring. He's going for the ladder. He's in a little bit of trouble now. Fisher Bailey trying to keep Slaughterhouse occupied. Carter Ford going for a table. Hannibal has spotted Peter Allen. Peter Allen's slow to get up those stairs. Listen, I, 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 I get it. I get it, Peter. And Peter Allen, just like that. Just like that, grabs the case and gets the win for old school. Unbelievable. Look at the speed. That took him two seconds, not even, to snatch that case away. And listen, after a little, uh, after a brief, brief period of absence, old school come back with a big, big victory. you love to see it unless you're Slaughterhouse or a Slaughterhouse fan. All right. Yeah, now we're talking. It is time for a fatal four-way tables elimination match. Been a little while since we've had one of these. And the first participant, someone I personally would love to see thrown through a table or two. From jolly old England. The following is a the Jester. Tables match. One of our few uh, one of our few British wrestlers who have not appeared in, in the RPW. Not yet. You never know. Someday it may happen. Seems unlikely. He's in the big leagues now. Why would he go back to the RP? Why would he go to the RPW from here? Unless we released him from his contract, which... There have been times I've been tempted. But listen, say what you will. Personal feelings about the Jester aside. A former champion playing a trick on matter by phasing through the table. Let's just skip the rest of that so we don't break all the laws of the universe before we even get the match started. Next up, listen. And his Polar opposite, here you go. Johnny Germany. Fantastic. The pride of Cologne, times. Germany. Johnny. I can't watch this entrance. I heard A this Mr. Electricity, Mr. Mr. Excitement. Johnny well, Fantastic ring, dancing his way uh, down uh, to the ring. Again, we're gonna we're gonna cut some of these intros Let's short so we can get to it. But Johnny Fantastic, always a fan favorite, always I mean, exciting always to watch from the WWE in the ring. But can he put a man through a table? We're gonna find out. Next up. Listen, talk about faith. Talk about wrestlers I love. That man right there. The man. The mullet. The mustache. The magic. Terry. Wonder. Again, another man that I would love to see put some people through tables. What I'd like to see is Terry Wonderful with a title belt. That's what I would love to see. That's not happened yet. Not yet. And the final participant. And there he is from Melbourne, Australia, Maz of Oz. Coming to the ring with Killer. Match, and I fully expected to deliver on that promise. 
Maz of Oz making his way to the ring, the Thunder from down under. I will say I was watching some some uh, something on the news today where in Australia they were doing uh, brain surgery on someone because they thought they had a brain tumor and it turns out it was a worm like that long a live worm that had grown inside of her brain that they removed alive and wriggling still from her skull and where did that happen ladies and gentlemen you guessed it Australia All right, let me start the prediction. You can let me know who you think is going to win this fatal four-way table elimination match. The Jester going after Terry Wonderful and Johnny Fantastic pairing off against Maz of Oz. Honestly, every time I look at the news, and if it's a person who's done something insane, it's Florida. And if it's an animal that's done something insane, it's Australia. That's it. That's that, that's it. That's the news. The Jester. Cleaning house right now. DDT on Maz. Maz rolls out for a quick breather. Not a bad idea. Looks like it might grab a table. Let's get this party started. Get that table in there. Big drop kick by the Jester, and Terry Wonderful rolls out. Jester and Johnny Fantastic with a double neck breaker. Australia is the Florida of the world. Indeed. Indeed. Jester and Johnny Fantastic fighting on the outside. Terry Wonderful going after Maz on the inside there. Drops the big elbow. Table in the ring, but not put up. Next snap by Wonderful. Jester walking around the table to get to Johnny Fantastic. Terry Wonderful has the table, but uh, addressing the crowd as opposed to setting it up. And instead goes after Maz. Maz partially blocked that one, but not quite enough. Johnny Fantastic's got a table in the ring now. Terry. With the uppercut from behind. We have a table set up. Jester trying to bring Terry over to it. Manages to get him to the ropes instead. And look at this maneuver from the Jester. No. Reversed by Terry. Wonderfully fell into the table. Thankfully for the Jester, not through. Terry sets up the table again. Meanwhile, Maz of Oz choking out Johnny Fantastic on the ropes. He's trying to Jester doing a little jig on the outside before heading back in. Why not? Whatever gets your energy going. And Terry, wonderful. That's why he's my favorite. He's got the hockey stick. Ooh, hockey stick. Did a little pirouette, but didn't hit anybody. Again, there is a table set up in the corner. No one has uh, gone over there as of yet. And oh, famouser to Terry Wonderful. Maz has that hockey stick, but Jester gets to him first before he has a chance to use it. Suplex right onto that other table. And the Jester looks like he's trying to bring Maz over to the table, but Maz fighting back here. Terry's got another table. table tossed in all oh, knocked down the table we have three tables in the ring none of them set up yet no eliminations as of yet absolute chaos oh back body drop right onto that table 
Maz, oh, I thought he was going to set it up. Tossed to the side instead. Decides to go after the Jester instead. Probably not a bad idea. Terry's got the table, but Johnny not going to let him set that up. Oh, Maz. Clobbering people left and right with that table. Terry has him up. And face first off the turnbuckle. The Jester hits Terry with the table, hits Johnny with the table. And the Jester looks like he's more, uh, uh, more intent on hitting people with the table than putting anyone through it. It does not count if you hit someone with the table and it breaks. You have to put them through the table, not the table through them. Uh, they do have tables, Jocko, in Australia. That's a good question. They do have tables in Australia, but there they're called Badingadoos. So if someone puts your foster on the Badingadoo, have a little coaster on them. That's how you use it in the sentence. Alley oop powerbomb by Johnny Fantastic on Terry Wonderful. Table is set up in there. Fantastic. Sends him to the corner. Maz intercepts. Irish whip goes nowhere. The ring absolutely cluttered with tables. Look, doubled up in the corner. Johnny Fantastic, I think, was going to uh, throw him into Terry Wonderful. And boom! Maz of Oz planted through the table by the Jester. And our first elimination is in the books. Maz of Oz got slammed through the Badingadoo. Look at that springboard leap by Johnny Fantastic. Wow, unbelievable. Look at this crowd. It's insanity in here. Irish whip and Johnny with the arm drag. And he's taking this to the outside now. Johnny taking a little breather. Looks Josh like he might be... Thought he was going to go over, maybe go after Maz, but thankfully no. Oh, suplex. suplex by the Jester. Side headlock and Terry with a shot to the face. And he has free reign the there is a... No oh, oh, here we go. The steel steps, even in a table match. Even in a table match, you can't resist the steel steps. Terry's got that table just right behind him. Johnny with the drop kick. Jester back out to uh, join the fun, as it were. Grabs the table, but no dice. Johnny fantastic with the Russian leg sweep. I just watched a video today. I forget the creator, so I apologize, but it was on YouTube about uh, walk through how Bret Hart executes a Russian leg sweep. It was actually far more interesting than it should have been. <laughs> I feel like I can do one now. Terry's got that hockey stick. He's heading back out. And eats table. Compliments of the Jester. Uh, looks like he might be setting one up there right in the middle of the ring. No, he is not. He is waiting and then dropping it. And Terry drops him with the table, sets it up. Jester rolls out. Terry goes after him instead of trying to put Johnny Fantastic through a table. I think that might have been a poor strategy. Well, I mean, technically, technically, tables matches are a falls count anywhere. You can set them up on the outside. If they're set up on the outside and you go through them, it does count, so. Like, if they hopped the barrier and went to the backstage area with the table, if you put them through a table back there, 
still counts as elimination as far as I understand it. Would love to see it, but unlikely. Jester just taking his time, having a lot of fun. This isn't the smartest thing to do, antagonizing your opponent and And Terry making him pay for it. Terry goes after those steel steps again and clocks Johnny right in the noggin. Nice dodge from the Jester. Back elbow completely cuts them off. Well, Terry into the apron. Nice arm drag by Johnny Fantastic. Tosses Terry back into that ring. And a little sneaky shot on the Jester right in the mask. Hit him right in the ha-has. More steel steps. Again, a table set up in the ring, guys. Just head into the ring. There you go. Tosses Terry in. Go after him, Johnny. But no, Johnny's got a few things to say to the Jester first. Couldn't wait. He's outside the ring now. Hope he's got a plan. Oh! Locks the Jester right in the face with those steel steps. Johnny feeling loose and limber. Grabs Terry from behind, and look at this maneuver. Boom! German suplex by the Jester. Another nice arm drag from Johnny. Again, all three superstars just cycling moves back and forth. But they have got to get back in this ring for the elimination, and Terry Wonderful does just that. Everyone back in the ring now. Table is set up. It is anyone's game to lose. Terry's got Johnny. Is this going to be an elimination? Exploder suplex right through the table, and Johnny Fantastic is out. We are down to the Jester and Terry Wonderful. Table in the ring, but not set up. Jester off the ropes, does a little dance, and boom, hits him with the leg drop. See ya. Definitely wouldn't want to be ya. And finally, the Jester. Sets up the table in the middle of the ring. Is this going to be it? Poor Terry Wonderful. He's in the corner. There's the reversal. Terry Wonderful. And locks in the German sleeper. Just trying to wear down his opponent. And finally, the Jester manages to bridge himself up. And a kick to the head gets him out of that maneuver, finally. But Terry, double underhook power bomb. And the Jester rolls out. Terry is going to finally, looks like, set up that table. Actually, you know what? If they go for the announcer's table, I'm assuming that counts. But I really don't know. I've never seen it before in tables match. It's entirely possible for the announcer's table. Well, listen. If, we, if that's how we finish this match, it's match of the night. Hockey stick in hand. Pow. Put to good use. Give him the old Marty McSorley. Pumping the adrenaline they so desperately need right now. Terry, wonderful now. The reverse uppercut. Yeah, I would imagine it would still work. I would imagine it would. It should still. It should still count. It's still a tape. It's only because it's 2K that it may not. That's the only, that's the only reason I that's the only reason I put a qualifier on it. And the jester. Trying to avoid elimination here, putting a little separation between him and Terry Wonderful. That table right there next to them. Terry fighting back as well. Neither one of them able to get enough control. Sent into the corner. Oh, vicious chop. Reversal. And listen. Jester's got a handful of a 
handful of mullet, but unable to guide Terry to the table. They're having an awful bit of difficulty. Finally, Terry has him up, and this could be it. This could very well be it. Are we going to see another exploder suplex through the table and your winner? Terry, number wonderful. That match might go down as one of the best matches in WWE. The crowd still chanting, this is awesome in the background. Again, as always, with every Johnny Fantastic match, spot the chicken in the ring and text chicken to the RLWF to win a prize. Title shot in his future, Jeremiah. Listen, you know that I, more than anyone, would love to see it happen. The Jester floating on the outside. He's so beat up. A great match. All right. This guy is ready for a fight. Coming out first, your RLWF men's champion, member of Cure, the man, the myth, the legend, THP. Raise the elevator of greatness. Now, this is a non-title match. A non-title match. But, as everyone knows, winning a non-title match is a quick way to get yourself a title shot. Or, like Pope, or like THP, you could win the front of the line case and then uh, uh, grab it from uh, Elijah George. That's, that's another way to do it. That's another way to go. A little more convoluted. And there you go. Some pyrotechnics for the champ. Well earned. The following champion versus champion contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Newcastle upon Tyne, England, weighing in at two. And there you go. Also from Jolly Old England, uh, THP, Newcastle on Time. That doesn't sound like a real place. That sounds like if you were going to make up a British town. That would be if it was Newcastle sure on on time, then I'd say you're you're you're, you're pulling my leg. You're pulling my leg. You're having a laugh. THP giving the crowd the business there, demanding that they respect their champion. But perhaps they are saving. Perhaps they are saving their respect for their new king. And Twitch champion, from Rochester, New York, weighing in the illustrious king, pounds, the internet champion, illustrious King Jack. Illustrious King Jacko makes his way to the ring with the belt. Now again, cure versus cure action. Not the first time we've seen this, but. As the winner of the King of the Ring tournament, I can think of no one else that has earned a shot against THP. I, I Ironically, I decided before the pay-per-view that that was going to be the reward for the person who wins the King of the Ring match, that they would get the first non-title shot at the champ post-pay-per-view. And it just so happens that it allows us to watch two Cure members beat on each other. Hope for the uh, uh, arena uh, a Jumbotron to fall into the middle the line, of the ring. The champion looks as ready as ever. I'm not gonna lie. Let me start the prediction. You can tell me who you think is gonna win. Jump, Jocko win me wrong, and that's fighting so with the crown on. How is that for a flex? A huge test for this title holder. Well, but THP, listen. The Cure are a tight unit, but they are also a competitive unit. They are all competitors. They are all hungry for that top title. So if Jocko needs to go through THP to get it, that's what he's going to do. <laughs> I agree, Maz. It's a, it's a nice, it's a great flex. Great 
Jocko sends him into the ropes. Irish whip goes nowhere. And instead sends him into the corner. He's turning the tables. And THP taking it to his Royal Highness so far. Irish whip by Jocko. Jocko, you'll have to let me know if I've got your new move set. I think I have the new move set, but if you see anything that's uh, out of sorts, let me know and I can check it afterwards. And oh, what a move by Jocko. And Jocko with a combination on THP and another. And boom, flattens him at the end. But still, THP with the reversal. Well placed kick to the gut. Another damaging crowd counting out the kicks. Nice combo. They're at a six count. They're going to have to get back in that ring at some point. Jocko, especially. Needs to get no THP like back in that ring if he wants. Well, I guess the non-title match, so we get a win is a win is a win. No respect on his opponent. You gotta love it. Jocko he appealing to his loyal subjects. That was and uh, oof, with extra swagger, touches the crown and hits him with the neck breaker. Is that going to be it? It is not. Only a one count. Not even close. Like he still has some gas left in the tank. THP not so easily defeated. Irish whip and Jock pop up power slam beautifully executed. But once again, THP right there with the comeback. This has been a great back and forth match so far. Jocko pump hand into the driver. And Jocko going top rope. Are we going to see the royal illustrious frog splash? We are. Hits it, hooks the leg. Oh, THP gets that shoulder up. Jocko sends him into the ropes. And THP lets the fist fly, but another reversal, this time by Jocko, reversal by THP. Two great technical wrestlers going toe to toe. Long-time teammates, they know all of each other's moves. That's why you're seeing so many reversals. They know how the other person wrestles. They know how the other person thinks. And Jock drives him into the mat. Reversal from Poke. And PKO out of nowhere. Hooks the leg. And no, the king kicks out. But the champ asserting his dominance here. Jocko on the ropes and knocked to the outside by THP. Outside of the ring now. What's the plan here? And another pop-up power slam by Jocko, this time on the outside. Gets him with the counter. And once again, every time Jocko gets something going, THP is right there to reverse it. Yeah, has a lot of jagged edges on that crown, Maz. I think you might be right. That might not be a great strategy to drop a knee on it. Hard into the barricade. And oh, victim to a German suplex. Nice German suplex by THP. Tosses to Jocko into the announcer's desk. They're at a seven count. The referee says, Get in here. Nice kip up by the king. Goes under the ropes. Tosses to the champ inside. in there. Heads right in Ooh, after him. That was close. Nice dodge by Jocko. Off the ropes and boom. Drive by kick, but look at that. THP 
with the counter and another counter and another counter. This is absolutely insane. I mean, two perfectly matched superstars. Suplexes into a pin. Is that going to be enough to get him? It is not. The King manages to twist his way out of it. CHP says, come on, get up. He's going to give him an opportunity, but changes his mind. Took a little too long. And Jocko off the ropes again, and another drive-by kick, but another counter by THP. He's got his number on that move. And now Luthez Press pounding away on Jocko. And another PKO. That's got to be it. That has got to be it. The King is dead. Long live the King. THP. An incredible match and an incredible win. THP absolutely unstoppable right now. That PKO, the most devastating move in the RLWF right now. I'm going to call it, baby. I am calling it. Here is your winner, THP. THP with the victory. Listen, I mean, the good news for the Cure is that they win the match either way. Jocko. Floating next to the ring using his new royal superpowers. A big, big win for the cure. A big, big win for THP.